Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is uh, again from a question posted on Power BI community forum. Very, very interesting question. The question is how to validate the selections in the slicer. Let me walk you through the question which is which user actually posted. So here it is, uh, validate slicer selection. I have a period column in a table I'm using as a slicer. It is of type date. I'm using date hierarchy. So basically what is user is what user is looking for? If January and February are selected in 2020 and in 2021, January, February, and March are selected, then user want to say month missing from selection because uh, there are three months selected January, February, March in 2021, and there's only two months selected in January and February. And further to that, if number of months selected in multiple years does not, if they matches, then user want to show months selected correctly. So very, very interesting uh, question. So basically, if you're selecting a month in a different year, you want to make sure the same months are selected in all the years. Let's look at the solution and I will walk through how I, I, I was able to solve it. Let's get to Power BI. So here I have similar thing. Uh, I just have a calendar table with the date and month as a two uh, month and year as two column, which I put on slicer. So as you can see year and month. So in this case, uh, you know, each month is showing under each year. So the question is again, if I select three months in 2020 and I select Two months in 2021 I want to show that the uh, selection is not uh, number of months are not selected correctly or not the same and uh, here is what we're going to do this uh, how we're going to solve for it I'm going to start writing a measure so let's call it validate month selection before we validate we want to understand what currently user has selected in each year to do this, what we will do is, let me quickly actually walk uh, through this process. Let's say uh, we call a variable selected months in a in year. So what we will do is we will summarize. What we want to summarize because we want to group it by each year, whatever is selected. So we say calendar and we want to segment or group it by summarize it by year and now what here we want to do is maybe there is more than one month selected um, maybe uh, if nothing is selected it's pretty much deemed as all the months are selected in a year so what we can do is we can add another uh, column in our summarize tables and let's call it selected months and what we can do here is we can con use concatenate x so what concatenate x uh, is required is a table at the uh, um, the first uh, first parameter so we can take a values of month so whatever the so this will give us a unique value of the months and then what we need to do is we will concatenate it so maybe uh, with month uh, that column and then we need to give a separator for it. We can give any separator, but let's put it a comma. And uh, so this is our a measure. So that's up for stored in a variable. Let's look at what we get with this uh, particular uh, calculation. So maybe I will use a max x of selected months in a year, and then um, use um, selected month, the column which we added, just to show what it will return. So let's put a KPI card here and use our measure in that KPI card and it's called validate month. So if I remove everything, uh, it is basically showing us um, every uh, month selected. So which, uh, because it's a max, what it is doing is uh, uh, if I have a multiple year selected, let's say, say January, February, so it's giving me January, February. If I select January, February, March, it's giving me um, this one because I use max X. But just what I want to show you, uh, this is not a good representation of the data. Maybe if I do um, a table visual and put a year in here, 
uh, in a table visual and in a validate month if I take this portion of the validate month and concatenate x1 and just uh, put as a separate measure let's say selected months in a year so if I do this so if I put that in a table visual so now here I think it's a good representation what it returns so if we see in 2020 we have a let's make it a little bigger 16 so year 2020 we have a January and February in year 2021 January February March so basically that's what is uh, what is happening if I go in 2029 2019 I select maybe four months so this is so what this particular measure which uh, I start writing is giving us calendar year and then concatenating each month selected in that year. So this is, this is uh, what we are getting with this particular variable. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the number of months selected within the each year are the same. If they are the same, it means it's a valid selection. If they are not same, it means uh, it is not a, the matching of the selection is not not the same. So to do that, what we can do is uh, let's uh, create another um, variable here, validate selected months. So what we're going to do here is uh, first let's check if a only single year is selected right there could be possibility the user selected only 2019 and two months in that it means there's nothing to compare let's first check that if what we can do is if count rows uh, maybe I put a measure here before this say number of years selected so what that would be count rows values of calendar year so this will give me uh, the number of uh, years selected. Let's return this particular measure for a second, uh, sorry, variable for a second and see what, what value we get here in our KPI. So as it says three, it means we have 2019 selected, 2020 and some of the months in 2021. So if I uncheck, let's say 2019, so now two years are selected, 20, 2020, 2021. Doesn't matter what months are selected, but at least there are two selection has been made. So if I remove January and February, so now only one year is selected. It means first we need, so the validation does not make any sense because if there is only few months selected in a one year, we have nothing to compare. We can have a different message for that. So what we can say is if number of years selected is equal to one, actually I'm going to call a, a variable here. What I'm going to do is a selected month status. So what I'm going to do is if number of years selected is equal to one, then I'm going to call it minus one. I will, I will walk through why we are doing this. And then now if only one year is selected, so the status is minus one. So what we need here is to distinct count the selected months. If in all the years, same months are selected and if we do the distinct count it will return the value one it means all the selected months are the same across all the years to do that what we will do is count x and then we will summarize our selected months in year table and uh, we will summarize over selected months so this will now give us a the selector unique value of selected months and then we will count this so that will be selected months so if there is more than uh, if if different years or uh, months are selected across multiple years we will get the count more than one if the same number of months are selected across the years the count will be one and that will be our another status now in return what i will do I'm going to selected month status. So if it is uh, one, then it's a valid selection. 
why it is a valid selection i will uh, walk through that and when it is negative 1 it means only uh, year only months in one year selected or maybe call it invalid selection and third option is uh, the if it's not one if it's not negative one and the third one is invalid selection or call it uh, selected months across years does not match whatever the message you want to give so let's let's take a look what this is going to do so so first use case is only months in one year selected invalid selection so basically we have only selected in 2021 and that's why we are getting that message uh, uh, in our measure we did that so let's select some more months in uh, 2020 so let's say i select january so now the message changes selected months across years does not match because in 2020 we only selected january in 2021 we have january february march but let's select february and let's select april even we have a three month selected in both the years but still it's an invalid selection because the selected month does not matches with each other it's a january february april here january february march so what we want to do is if as soon as i do march here what we get a valid selection because january february march and january february march now matches and if i go to 2019 i select january and now this is again invalid because we have selected months in three years two months two years months selected in two years matches but the third year it does not match but if i go january february still does not match if i go march immediately it's a valid selection so why this is happening the whole magic is in this particular thing so what we're doing is because we are grouping it by selected months so if you see the concatenate x here in this case january february march if this is selected so we are grouping by this particular column which we called um, in our measure which we called selected months so this selected months and grouping it we are counting the number of rows so it's we are only getting the one row at that point in time it means it's it's valid but as soon as we go in april now it is grouping by it two uh, now we have it basically two different groups here one group is this and the other group is this and that's why it does not match because the count x will return two value of two at that point of time so basically when this count x is returning one value it means all the selected month in all the years matches with each other and then further here we are making that uh, with the switch statement okay if it's a one value because count x is one so then we are getting the valid selection if it is negative one we are in because only one year selected again if if this logic is not required we can remove it and if none of these uh, happens if it's no negative one or not one it means uh, selected months across the year does not match so that's pretty much what it is if i remove uh, everything from here now because all the years all the months are by default is uh, assumed as selected so it's a valid selection uh, this is an interesting uh, video because uh, this can help you to take this status value and put in another measures and say okay you know if you're comparing uh, numbers across uh, multiple years but you want to make sure the user make the same selection before user you compare like you want to make sure january february march and january february march in both the years are selected so that the comparison is more valid and then this kind of logic you can put in there and then you can uh, give the message to the user. Um, I hope you find this video useful and it's a, it's a small DAX trick how you can work with selection and how you can do concatenate X and summarize uh, within the measures to come up with this kind of solution. Do let me know what you think about it. Uh, until next video, have a good day. Do subscribe my channel. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.